I'd like to talk to you about how to live a more meaningful life. So many people I speak with, regardless of their financial situation, whether they own their own home, business, have a well-paid job, appear happily married or in a relationship, or simply have none of the above, feel like they have no direction in life. They feel stuck or lost, as though they are going nowhere. This type of feeling is usually heightened even more around the end and start of every new year, when everyone's expected to set New Year's resolutions or goals for the new year. However, the reality is most people don't set them. 80% of people don't even set New Year's resolutions or goals. And from the 20% that do, only 5% of them set new ones. The remaining 15% set the same goals they did the previous year. So what does that show? It shows that most people don't actually achieve their goals. In fact, a lot of people give up on them altogether or stop trying. I've been guilty of this myself. In the past, I've set New Year's resolutions with great intentions of completing them and making that year my best year ever. But what happened? Somewhere during the year, I got sidetracked or I allowed a situation to affect my state, which then destroyed my enthusiasm to continue. Whatever the reason, I never ended up achieving it and always felt worse about myself afterwards. This was because of the pressure I had put on myself to achieve it. I felt I had failed, and this didn't happen to me just once. You see, setting goals is great, effective, and very important. But I don't believe having a goal in itself is what leads to living a meaningful life, or achieving that goal for that matter. Not every goal you achieve leads you to feeling fulfilled afterwards especially if your focus is solely on achieving it, like it was for me back then. I had achieved many goals in the past, but still not feel fulfilled afterwards. Very often, our goals can elude us. Once achieved, instead of acknowledging our growth as a person or the things it's revealed to us about ourselves, we end up saying, is that it? Or better still, what now? That's why it's often said the journey is more important than the destination. When you pay attention to the journey, you can repeat your actions and reach that same destination again and again. When your focus is solely on the destination, before you know it, you reach there, you're there, and you don't even know how you got there. Imagine if your goal was to build a seven-figure business and you finally achieved it. Then all of a sudden a world crisis occurred that meant you had to shut it down and declare bankruptcy. This has happened before and many companies have never recovered. The ones that did, however, paid attention to the journey. When the world situation got back to normal, they used the same learnings and skills they had acquired to start from scratch and rebuild their business back to seven figures again. Imagine how difficult this is to do if your sole focus is on the destination as opposed to the journey. You get the picture. There are many things that can contribute to living a meaningful life. And yes, goals, setting goals is one of them. But I'd like to share with you what I believe and have experienced to be the most important contributing factor. And this is progression. Progression. Progression is the key to living a more meaningful life. If you're progressing, you're moving, you're evolving, you're demonstrating to yourself that life is worth living. It doesn't matter how fast or slow the progression is, so long as you're progressing. And mind you, there's a difference between just living and progressing. Living takes no effort. If your heart beats, you're alive. The trees are alive. Nature is alive, the earth, every living creature is alive. That's not hard. But not everything living is progressing. Luckily for nature and animals, their genetic makeup is one of progression and evolution. They don't have to work for that. It comes natural to them. Tell me a tree or animal that doesn't grow to its full potential when left in its natural environment. Even plants, if watered, and looked after and nurtured, they will grow to their fullest potential. They don't stop halfway and say, I don't want to grow anymore, this is tall enough for me. Or, I've had enough growing leaves now. No, they grow to their full evolution. 
Although we don't see this slow, gradual process in nature, it's happening. We only see the end result. We don't see the progress it makes in its early stages that leads to the foundation for it to transform into a beautiful flower, tree or butterfly. This is because progression is their makeup. Each and every day they are progressing in some way. Only for us humans does this become a challenge because we're not created the same as nature and animals. We are born with a gift or curse some may say with the ability to shape our lives the way we choose for the most part, in that we're not driven by genetics or instincts. We can live one way for a set period of time and then decide we've had enough and then live a totally different way. The point is, unlike nature, we have the ability to do this. Like nature, it's in our makeup to grow, but not necessarily to progress. For us humans, Progression must be an intentional conscious act driven by us. This means if life for us is not how we would like it to be, the responsibility falls on us to change. The problem arises then when we don't know how to, or we can't identify why life isn't the way we want it to be. We may think it's lack of money, or we may think it's not owning at home, or not being in a relationship, or any other tangible thing that's missing in our life. But when we solve those issues, we can still end up feeling like there's still more out there, or something's still missing. Our perspective or approach can always be manipulated to suit us, since we have control over how we think. Similarly, it can keep us down by us constantly questioning and feeling like life is never good enough. I guess it all depends on how we choose to focus, on what we choose to focus on, and how we define fulfillment and happiness. A plant that stops growing is a plant that's dying. If it is no longer absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen, then it is no longer living a meaningful life. Its focus isn't on growing X amount of leaves or seeds, its focus is solely on living a life of progression. That's how we humans must be too. Just as it's within a plant's nature to grow and expand to their full potential, the same can be said for us, especially once we are living out our best self. Show me a person who is living their best self that doesn't want to explore and reach their full potential. Progression does that for us. If we are progressing, we are moving up. We are improving, getting better. If you're not progressing in some way, then you're slowly dying. If you're not moving up, then you're sliding down. There's no staying in the middle. If you're in the middle, then you're going down because everything around you is moving in one or the other direction. Setting goals with the view that achieving them will make you fulfilled is limiting in that fulfillment can come in many ways, some of which you don't even know yet. Why limit it to only the goals you can imagine? Why not look at your goals as part of your life's progression instead of getting fixated on completing them within a certain time frame? What about your focus being on making every year better than the last by making sure you're progressing in every area of your life in some way? This doesn't take away from you having dreams and goals, but it does take away the pressure from you having to achieve them within a certain time frame and feeling you have failed if you don't. Without the expectation to achieve something, your focus can be on the journey as opposed to the destination. Your focus can be on making sure you're progressing every day in every area of your life, which will enhance your life and move you towards your goals anyway. The key for all of us is to make today a better one than yesterday. That way you will want to make tomorrow better than today and so on. It doesn't matter if you have the world's riches or not, because after all, you can't take them to the grave with you when you die. Also, one person's riches can be another person's burden. What matters is that each day you're seeking ways to enhance your life more and more in happiness, wellness, peacefulness, oneness, and contentment. Just knowing that each day I am progressing. I believe this is the key to living a more meaningful life.